Hello and welcome to the first episode of my Football Manager 2019 Let's Play. I'm Ollie and today we're going to be taking Leighton Orient from the non-league to the Premier League and hopefully all the way to the Champions League. Leighton Orient is a club with a lot of history, founded in 1881 making it one of the oldest football clubs in the world, almost certainly older than most current Premier League clubs, but they've had a bit of a rough time recently. With the club having 11 managers, three, uh, three owners, two relegations, as well as almost being wound up in just over four years, with the club having featured in League One as recently as 2015. The club was taken over uh, recently by local businessman and lifelong Leighton Orient fan Nigel Travis. He has since changed the club's fortunes alongside the club's manager, J uh, Justin Edinburgh, with Leighton Orient currently sitting on top of the National League table with just over half the season gone. So we're going to look to emulate their success. Uh, Leighton Orient finished mid-table last season, which isn't too bad, um, but the squad has a lot of potential, uh, especially with uh, Levi Lumeka on loan from Crystal Palace. Uh, obviously, he's an incredible uh, left winger, um, very pacey, excellent crossing ability, very determined, which is just superb for this level of football, uh, with my scouts currently thinking that, you know, he he's quality to, to League 2, because we want to keep him for the next season. As well as that, uh, Macaulay Bonn, who is currently the top goal scorer in the National League, uh, he's pretty good for this level of football, still got a bit of uh, ability ability to develop but overall he's he's an excellent striker but we we can improve upon him uh, which is something I'll be looking to do uh, the squad isn't doing too bad um, lacking depth in most areas especially in the midfield with current with uh, Dale Gorman currently out injured um, the left wing with we're okay with and hopefully over the next few, before the season starts rather, um, we can get a couple more faces in, uh, bolster the attack. Um, Matt Harold, aging, but still represents okay quality for this level of football. In terms of finances, the club is a fair amount in, in the bank uh, with a fairly hefty wage budget, especially for non-league football of 34000 which is just about mid-table for a League 2. So over the next few weeks before the season starts, I want to bring in a couple new players, hopefully to especially to add strength and depth in some of the areas of the squad. In terms of the league table, um, we're currently predicted to finish fifth. Um, Salford, obviously owned by the class of 92, um, just had tons of cash pumped into them. They do have an incredible squad with Adam Rooney. Uh, while a bit older than most players, is still an incredible uh, forward. Uh, playing recently for Aberdeen, who are in the Scottish Premiership, which is basically the Premier League. Is with 65 goals, it's going to be a tough time for for us. Um, but the the board are predicting, or they're demanding rather, us to finish in the playoff spots. But I want to go a bit further than that and push for automatic promotion. In the meantime, of course, I'll be back uh, for our first game of the season, which will be against Salford. So I'm going to go through the pre-season and I'll go through the new signings I make. And we're back for our first game of the season against Salford City. Uh, we had a pretty good preseason. Uh, one draw, one loss and four wins. Uh, lastly against Billericay Town. Obviously the, the new moneyed club uh, just entered the National League South, I believe. 2-1 uh, uh, with their only goal coming from an own goal and during a set piece. Uh, but we have made some new additions to the squad. Firstly with Jermaine Grandison. Um, an excellent option at right back uh, which was an area of the squad I was looking to improve can still improve 
Uh, we could possibly even keep him up until uh, League 2, maybe even League 1, uh, once we reach that level of football. Uh, we brought in Nico Hammerleinen on the, on the left-hand side um, as a new first-team pick over... I can't remember who. James Brophy. He is a significant improvement over significantly better in attack, technical, aerial, mentals and defence. The only thing that lets him down is his speed, but at 21 years old, bucket loads of potential. Uh, we also brought in Anton Rogers, a 25-year-old Irish player uh, on a free transfer. Just absolutely excellent in the box-to-box, -box, made the fielder role. Superb teamwork, work rate, uh, stamina passing, tackling for this level of football, as well as excellent free kick taking as well. Um, as well as this, we brought in Dennis Politic from Bolton as an additional uh, right or left winger, depending. Um, we do have options already, however, they are aging. Uh, Joby McEnough is our first choice beforehand, um, but he's just a a significant improvement over uh, Mackinough being 36 years old who has maybe one more se season at the club before he retires so it was necessary to bring someone in on loan we also brought in Marcus Harness another versatile winger uh, can play on either side naturally uh, on loan from Burton Albion uh, a team I want to uh, build a relationship with on account of their facilities uh, as they house themselves at St. George's Park, which is the England squad's uh, training ground. Um, so it's a, a good relationship building moment for us. Uh, lastly, we brought in uh, Liam Smith, another option in the centre of midfield on the account of uh, Gorman being out for a few more weeks with a torn hamstring. A good option. First team, according to my... Uh, coaches but I reckon he'd be a good backup to Anton Rogers and Dale Gorman as well as this we brought in Jake Pickard who is just a wonderful striker for this level of football bit pricey at one and 1.4 thousand per week but he's night and day better than Macaulay Vaughn and he's only 21 years old and he can still improve so we've got some good options lastly we've got Adam Mitchell uh, from New Zealand, 22 years old, can still improve at centre-back uh, to take over from the ageing, I believe, Ella Kobe. Yes. Similar players with uh, Mitchell, still loads of potential left. But before we do that, uh, I'm just going to run through the tactic we're going to be using for the remainder of the season, uh, as well as the first-team squad. On the left-hand side, we've got Hammerleinen, uh, just an excellent option, or I've already mentioned, on loan from QPR. Uh, in the centre of defence, we've got Ella Kobe and Coulson. On the right, we've got Rep Granderson. In the centre of midfield for today, we've got Rogers, Smith and Lawless, on the account of uh, Charlie Lee and Dale Gorman being out, uh, recovering from their injuries still. On the left-hand side of the, of the final third, we've got Lemecca. And on the right, we've got Harness, and then up top, Picard, who has just been superb for us so far, and I expect to do very good things for the remainder of the season. Into the first game of the season, uh, Salford City are lining up with uh, Danny Lloyd, Rooney, and Gaffney as their f uh, front three. Uh, Maynard, Douglas, and Pond in the midfield, and Wood, Hogan, Hines, Wiseman, and Neal in goal. Uh, Salford have a League One quality team, so this is not going to be an easy game for us. I'm going to tell the boys, you know, impress me. And hopefully we can get the first game of the season off to a good start. With uh, Salford City kicking off the game, um, a boot up from... Not Pickard, that doesn't matter, highlight. Wiseman to Pond, back to Wiseman. Wiseman straight to Rooney, to Gaffney. Brill stops it. Oh, good save by Brill. 
Uh, hopefully we can get the game kicked off to a good start. Obviously we're less than five minutes in. Um, with Salford absolutely dominating possession with an excellent shot by Lloyd there. Um, but let's let's give the boys a bit of a bit of a boost. Um, tell them to show some passion. There we go. They're fired up. They want to win this as much as I do. Uh, we're gonna ignore the ignore the assistant manager. Ooh, Maynard has tripped. Here we go. First game of the pe pe of first goal of the game potentially here with Lawless stepping up to the plate. And he scores straight into the middle of the net there. Alex Lawless claims Orient's first goal of the season. Uh, I honestly expected Picard to take that spot, but what can we do? Wonderful finish, straight under the keeper's legs. And they're a bit anxious now. I can't imagine they'll be too pleased with that. Not much happening in terms of... But we have a set piece here. Lemecca takes it, hits straight against the wall. Lemecca in, into the box. Ooh. Gaffney to clear to Neil. Neil boots it up. Ella Kobe collects. Hopefully we can start building up from the back here. Rogers to Harness on the right-hand side. He's got options in the middle there. Picard. Oof. Off the woodwork. It's going well for us so far. Uh, almost at the halfway mark. Uh, we're dom not dominating possession, but we have got our sh fair share. Um, we've got most of the shots on target as well. I'm su honestly, I'm surprised it's uh, it's only one one nil. Give the boys a bit of a morale boost. I'm happy. Let's see what the second half brings us. Obviously, we have to monitor the fitness levels of some of our players. Um, Granderson not having the best of games. Neither is Harness. So we may look to take them off at some point. Maybe about 50 minutes in. 60. As Harness takes the ball on now. Down the right-hand side. Options in the middle. Picard. Lemecca. Another penalty. What's happened there? Lawless takes again. Hopefully he can claim the second goal of the season for Orient here. He stepped up to the plate. Neil has no chance. Straight again down the centre of the line. And that takes us up to top. I don't think anyone else is playing today. That's fortunate. Wonderful finish. Tell the boys to concentrate. And now they're overwhelmed. That's a bit disappointing. I'm going to bring some, uh, make some changes now uh, to pre preserve our lead. Arnis hasn't had the best game today, so I'm going to bring on Makina for him. Um, neither has Ella Kobe, so I'm bring on Ek Pateta, a player I didn't mention. Uh, good backup option, uh, not superb. We have another set piece here, Lemeka. Rogers knocks it in the net. I don't know what happened down there. Try and get a a better view of things. Lomeka knocks it in. Off Hammerlinen. Ah. Off the rebound. Beautiful. 3 0. We are going to proceed. This is the best start to the season you could possibly hope for. As Brill takes a free kick and knocks it off the pitch. Pond collects. Smith intercepts. Lomeka. Mm, not a ball of quality here as they uh, look to try and counter-attack here. It's Lloyd to Maynard. Hammerlinen, Orton, Gaffney. Lloyd in here, threatening position. Rooney! Oh, that's just sloppy defending. Absolutely disgusting. That should not have happened. I don't want to watch that again. May have made the defensive changes a bit too early. Tell the lad to show some passion. Uh, let's see if we can make one more change, but they've got a another highlight here. Rooney in the box. Gaffney. Oh, beautiful back pass. Horton. Oh, from range. Knocked off the woodwork. 
Bagani collects to Wood. They're on the ca they're on the attack again here. Oh, beautiful sliding tackle by McEnough. Pickard up top alone. He's got options in the centre. Great interception by Hines there. They're on the counter again, but Coulson collects and gets rid of McEnough into the box. Pickard collects from the outside onto Rogers. Oh, what was going on there? Just sloppy, sloppy defending by Salford City. And I clicked on one of the banners there. But beautiful finish by Lemecca. Levi Lemecca on loan from Crystal Palace. Ball in by Rogers. Rogers, it rebounds off one of their defenders on, uh, off wood. Neil can't collect and Lemecca just slots it in the bottom left. Wonderful finishing. Almost at the end here. I might make one more change just to kill the time. Uh, let's take some. Let's take Granderson off. He's had a good game today, but let's bring Ling, see if he can impress for us as well. Wood has had a dreadful game for Salford. Final set piece of the game. McEnough in. Neil collects. And that's all she wrote for today. Come on, ref. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We are going to tell the... That was a very nice victory, lads. Well done. And that will be all for today. We absolutely dominated them. Five to their uh, to our 12 uh, shots on target. That was a, an excellent display by the lads. In terms of when we'll be back... Uh, hopefully for the Chesterfield game. Uh, so we've got a, a little bit to go. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.